What's up, guys? This is Matt from Rick Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have an article for you guys, and it's about Zuckerbox. It's going to be in the 2024 election again. They have said they're going to meddle in it. Hey, this Zuckerberg, what he did in 2020, 450 million in the Midwest. This is scumbaggery at its highest level. Let's take a look. Report Zuckerbox Group is planning to meddle in the 24 election. As you may recall, during the 2020 election, left wing groups used millions in Zuckerbox to take control of local polling offices. Everyone concedes that this made a difference in the election, including people on the left. They admitted it at a time in a Time Magazine article about how they fortified the 2020 election. Even though many states have taken steps to address this issue in order to keep these folks away from the 24 election, they are now trying to do it again by going at it on, a, on the federal level by working with FEMA. Oh, great. These people have access to tons of data and demographics. If they are allowed to do so, they will target the cities and states they believe they need in order to ensure a Democrat victory. The Federalist is sounding the alarm about this. Infamous Zuckbox Group ties to election medal again, this time with federal tax dollars. On Wednesday, in an email sent to a network of election officials and nonprofit organizations, the Center for Tech and Civic Life, CTCL, that's out of Chicago, so everyone knows, announced it would begin efforts to facilitate the applications to a massive federal government grant administered by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. This program could potentially funnel more than $700 million to election offices during the 24 election under the auspices of CTCL officials and their partners in the nonprofit world or left wing election activism. CTCL is an organization that funneled hundreds of millions to Mark, of Mark Zuckerberg's dollars into key election offices to increase Democrat turnout in the 2020 election. CTCL announced in Electricity, its regular e-newsletter sent out to thousands of election officials who are part of its network, that it will host a webinar on January 25th to assist those officials in applying for FEMA's 2024 Building Resilient Infrastructure and Communities Grant Program. Nevertheless, CTCL asserts it's in its mail-in invitation that it will assist election offices in applying for BRIC grants. According to its creative interpretation of the new bipartisan infrastructure law, elections should be classified as a critical service deserving of competitive FEMA grant funding. According to the email, as a core element of the government function, elections are a critical service and eligible for this government funding. The webinar plans to cover the application process and will include sample content, as well as an inspiration for what the grant funds can be used for. State leaders need to be aware of this and must put a stop to it. Democrats use taxpayer funds to promote the election of Democrats. Yes, the efforts to turn us into a one-party nation are evil. The bureaucracy is the enemy. The left is doing this again because they know it worked last time and they'll keep doing it until it's stopped. That's right. They're going to keep on doing this. It worked in 2020 and they think it might work in 2024 and make uh, Biden or whoever's going to be running as Democrat, the president of the United States. Yeah, they're definitely not going to stop until they are stopped. Um, in my opinion, this whole Zuckerbox um, is highly illegal. Now, I know it's technically not, but it goes against everything we stand for. We've basically got a billionaire who's throwing in hundreds of millions. In 2020, it was $450 million, and it went to 
small precincts all over Wisconsin and the, the Rust Belt states. And the money was divvied up however it, you know, seemed best to get the vote. So in essence, what they're doing is they're paying for the Democratic vote. They're paying for people to follow whatever election rules they want to follow. Uh, basically to follow whatever is best for the Democrats instead of what the law says. And to me, this is just disgusting. It, it's basically paying for votes. Well, the thing is, if you look at American history, this ain't the first time this kind of stuff happened. I mean, it happened in the early 1900s with like people like uh, Carnegie, also uh, Rockefeller and mm -hmm. J.P. Morgan. They bought elections, except they bought elections for Republicans. This time, the reason they're going for uh, Democrats is because of ESG. ESG is forcing these companies to promote the Democrats and try to get the Democrats in office. And that's the reason Meta is in there. Now, this also has to do with uh, the money they're getting from the government as well with from a uh, quantitative easing. Like if you look at the start market, the only seven companies that are making money right now are tech companies. One of them is Meta. Yeah. And so they're doing everything they can to keep that money flowing in from the government. And that means they're going to be using. So really, it's a circle jerk all the way around. It's going from the government into Meta, back to the government, back to the Democrat Party. Yeah, it's like there's and what Matt means specifically is there are seven companies that have the stock market where it's at right now. If you get rid of those seven companies, Wall Street tanks like 1929, the Great Depression and these Large corporations are not only artificially keeping our stock market inflated, but they're being wielded as a tool against we the people and, and for a uniparty that will sign on to any silly, stupid idea the Democrats have. And uh, DEI and the rest of it, look at that's directly against the interests of a free people. And we need to fight against this with all of our might. Collectively, we the people, all of our might. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on just so you're aware when we make new content. We'll be live Monday morning at 9.30 Central Standard. Have a wonderful rest of your day.